after Mr. Bear will tell you a story about one of us. your eggs every day. Otherwise, I will smash your homes, kill you, and eat them all anyway. Yours affectionately, signed, The Fox. What? Yours affectionately? <sighs> what a despicable character. We'll never give in. Not one egg. We'll fight. United we stand. Huh? What are you talking about? We're birds. Birds are not made for fighting. I think it'd be better if we all found a good hiding place. No, I certainly don't want to have to leave my home. Me neither. The woodpecker is right. We have to fight. Okay, we got a lot of work to do. Let's prepare a bunch of traps with sharpened wooden poles sticking up inside. Okay, no, stop, no, wait. It's extremely dangerous to go up against the fox. Oh, no. What's this? Dear Mrs. Magpie, give me some of your delicious eggs every day from now on, or I'll kill you. Yours affectionately, a fox? Oh, no! I've no choice but to run if I want to save my eggs. Ha! 
hide. She fell this way. She disappeared. Where could she have gone? I couldn't have found a better home. I can live here comfortably and raise my young. Yes, oh. this is a very good <laughs> home. Thank you for delivering me those eggs. <laughs> Come now. <laughs> Give me those eggs if you want to leave here with your life. Hey! Uh, come back! Stop! Give me those eggs! Got them! You rotten bird! You pay for that! You can bet on it! But first, we have to prepare those traps. Yes, let's get going! Yes, let's, let's, go. Let's, go. let's go! to hide. He must be around here somewhere. At least now we know we can beat him. Yeah, right. We attacked him together and we made him run away. In the beginning we were all afraid, but now we found out that Fox is vulnerable. That Fox sure is a sly one. Where could he be hiding himself? If you ask me, he's cooking up some scheme. Keep your eyes peeled. He could show up when we least expect it. You're right. Now let's go we'll find the magpie. the magpie. The magpie! We gotta find him! If I find that magpie first, I'll get all her eggs. Where magpie! Are you magpie! Eggs? Where so are you? <laughs> Magpie, where are you? He doesn't see me. Uh, I need to rest a while. Uh, where could Mrs. Magpie be? I don't know, but the fox could come back at any minute, and we've got to be ready for him. Come on, let's go. Oh, why don't they just leave me alone? I'm safe here, and I can raise my little family in peace. <laughs> Oh, I won't let the 
fox get you too? The fox is coming. She's looked everywhere, and I can't find her. Where could she have ended up? Oh, I'm exhausted. My poor feet. <laughs> The magpie's shadow. Yes. Ha! There she is. I found her. Oh, joy. Oh, rapture. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Magpie. Don't you even say hello to an old friend? It's such a pleasure to see you again. I thought I'd never find you. Your friend Woody, who's been supplying me with eggs until yesterday, just informed me that your turn begins today. Uh huh? What is he talking about my turn? He's trying to be as sly as a fox, of course. But on account of the fact that we're old friends, if you give me just one egg now, I'll never bother you again. Are you telling me the truth? Oh, of course. How could you possibly doubt me? <laughs> what should I do? If I don't give in, I'm afraid he'll take all of them. <laughs> what should I do? If you don't want me to come up there, Throw one down, now! <laughs> and you'll never bother me again? I've already said that. How many times do I have to repeat myself? I have no choice. Ha <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> uh, very neighborly of you, neighbor. Can you get? <laughs> now, tomorrow, you'll have to give me two eggs, and the day after, I'll take them all. <laughs> what a lovely selection it'll be. <laughs> ah, but before I feast on them all, it's better I sample this one first. <laughs> down there right now and chase him off. Let's go! Huh? Oh, oh what is he doing I have a dear old stomach ache. Your eggs haven't hatched yet, Ryan. Why are you here? You promised you'd never come back. I just couldn't help myself. I was invited by the woodpecker to celebrate the birth of his little pecks, and I ate so much. <laughs> I think I overdid it. Well, instead of coming back here again, you should have consulted a doctor. You think I'm stupid? Of course I've been to a doctor. And his prescription was, can you imagine your eggs? That's why I'm here. What? Are you saying you want all my eggs? Not all, dearie. He said three will do the trick. Forget it. I'll never give them to you. Then I'm coming up there to get them. I'm coming. No! Don't come up. You win. Really? Oh, I just love it when I win. <laughs> Mercy, please. The eggs are beginning to hatch. I can't let you have three. Oh, all right. Just give me one, then. But don't ever say I'm not compassionate or understanding. Oh, dear me. Is he breaking my heart? Oh, my stomach's killing me! I need that egg! I need that egg! I must sacrifice one to save the rest.
one egg did nothing for me. How can I manage to get the rest? Hmm. I have it. Yes. <laughs> oh, huh? She's flown the nest. Where could she be? She can't be far. Where could she have ended up? Hmm. Hey. Hmm. There she is. I found her. No matter how clever that fox is, this time he'll never find me. Oh, hunger. Oh, no. The fox is back. How did he ever find me? Oh, I feel terrible. It must be the fault of all those eggs I haven't eaten. It never pays to be compassionate. Oh. What do I do? I don't know where to hide. I think I'm dying. Oh, I should have taken more eggs from the magpie. But being a nice guy, I only took one, and now I'm dying! <laughs> I wonder if he's dead. Oh, I can't believe it! Oh, wow! Can it be true? Is the fox finally dead? And you thank me by running away! I didn't run away! Then take me to your nest before I pluck you! My nest? Tail feathers oh, first! Okay, I'll take you there! The fox is down there! He's caught the magpie! We've got to save her! My precious little one, I tried to save you, but I failed. What else could I do? Oh. What's going on up there? Give me those eggs and make it snappy or it's magpie for lunch! to my advice and fought together with us. Never try to ignore your troubles. They'll always catch up with you in the end. The woodpecker is right. Everybody should team up together to fight against evil. Okay. Let's get going. Hey, look. The Come on, magpie. I'll catch up to you later. I have been so stupid to 
How stupid. Poor little magpie didn't have the courage to help her companions fight against the evil fox. And in the end, she didn't even have the courage to face her friends. And so she remained alone forever and ever. The magpie. How is the magpie classified in the animal kingdom? The magpie is a bird belonging to the order of Passeriformes, to the Corvidae family, and to the Pika Pika species. It's medium sized and easily recognizable for its long tail and its black and white plumage. How many species are there, and where do they live? The magpie is commonly found in Europe, in much of Asia, in the northernmost regions of Africa, and in western areas of North America. How do they live? Magpies generally live in couples, assembling in large flocks only during the winter. They prefer open country dotted with trees, on which they build their dome-like nests. How do they move? Characteristically, they fly by beating their wings rapidly, followed by short periods of gliding. They're not migratory birds, and usually stay in the same place all year round. What do they eat? The staple diet is insects, with a preference for coleoptera and grasshoppers, but they also like berries, fruit and cereals. Sometimes they attack nesting birds, and they also feed on carrion. How do they protect themselves? The magpie's main defense systems are its flying skills, and its tendency to live in areas full of hiding places. Its natural enemies are birds of prey. How do they relate to people? Magpies often live in proximity to people, and sometimes young birds are caught and tamed. On the other hand, in some regions, the magpie is a favorite prey for hunters. Can they live in the city? Sometimes. But even if magpies have been known to nest in built-up areas, they usually prefer to live in woodlands. <laughs> the moral of the story is it's always better to join forces and fight a bully rather than put up with him. <laughs> oh, looky there! Who's coming? 